and today's video is going to be DIYs inspired by Urban Outfitters. I was just scrolling through their website and I saw some of the items on there, some room decor items that were like $39 when I can make them for free. So that gave me the idea of making this video, showing you guys some of the things that are on Urban Outfitters that I recreated. So uh, without further ado, let's just get on with the video. So first of all, you're gonna need this picture. I just googled agate pattern, but I'm just gonna leave a link down in the description box below for this exact picture because this is exactly, exactly the same like the one on the website and this one was $19 to $399 when I just found the picture on Google. I just put my picture in this frame that I found but you can put it in a white frame to make it look exactly like the one on Urban Outfitters. And then you'll basically be done for this DIY. It was so easy. So first all I'm gonna do is get a barbecue skewer and I'm just gonna paint it golden. Then I'm just going to set it aside on this gigantic binder clip and I'm just gonna let it sit there and dry. I measured and cut out stencils for the head and the tail of the arrow and now I'm just gonna get this shiny golden paper and flip it over and I'm just going to make stencils of the head and the tail and I'm just going to cut it out. Once I have my head and tail cut out, I'm just going to get my barbecue skewer that is now dry and I'm going to put the head and tail on top of the stick and kind of bend it and fold it over to mold it around the barbecue stick to make it look 3D. Then I'm just going to put some tape on the back and stick it on. Now I'm just going to make another one, cross them over and stick them down together. And we're done! See, that was easy too. I just measured out this triangle inside a triangle stencil and I cut it out. Then you're just gonna fold an A4 size paper in half and trace out two of these patterns so that when you cut them out, you will have four of them. So. This is how it's going to look like after you've drawn two of your triangles. Now you're going to cut them out. Next all you want to do is get out your golden paint and paint both sides of the paper and I painted two coats for more opacity. Once you have all of them, all you're going to want to do is chain all of them together and I did not have the jump rings so this is how I made my own. So I just estimated about half an inch of wire and I cut it out then I just got a paintbrush and wrapped it around the paintbrush then I just played around with it with some pliers to kind of make it more circular 
and that's how your jump ring should end up. I just used some silver wire for this and you're gonna need 12 of the jump rings. So you're just gonna make holes on each side of the triangles and I put one jump ring on each side of it and I connected two of them in between with another jump ring. So there were three jump rings in between two of the triangles and this is how the end result look like and I just put some wire to both the ends and I stuck them on the wall and this was so easy to recreate and it was $18 on the original website and that is it for this DIY so did you guys like it I hope you guys liked it and anyway give this video a thumbs up if you like it and Make sure to leave a comment down below with any other video suggestions that you guys have. And make sure to share this video on all your social media links because sharing is caring. And if you haven't already subscribed, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to reach 300 subscribers, 300 people in the Tan Fam. I'm trying to reach that goal. So if you would like to be part of our family, then do hit that subscribe button. And... Uh, love you to infinity and peace.